four-wheel drive brushless electric short course trucks are so much fun to drive. I love ripping around in the backyard. I like taking them to the BMX track. And occasionally, you know, I like to go to the racetrack and, you know, throw down some laps. And this truck right here looks like it's a truck that could do just all of that. This is the Red Cat Racing TR SC10E. And I've already been in the box looking over the truck. And it's got some pretty cool features that I really want to share with you. Let's take a closer look. So right from the start here, I have to say Red Cat did an awesome job with the graphics on this body. The body itself, uh, you know, kind of an older generation short course look to it. Kind of got this slope rear to it and, uh, you know, rounded front end. Not a lot of air release holes, but you know what? The graphics just really set this thing off. And if you're backyard bashing, you know, the body shape isn't going to make a huge difference. Definitely if you're at the track, you probably want to cut some holes in the rear of this thing. But, uh, you know, back just back to the graphics. The graphics look really cool. I really love the red, black, and white look to it. Got a few, like, sponsor decal things going on. And overall, just a really neat look. All right, let's see what's under the body. That's what's important. This truck comes ready to run. You are going to need a battery and a charger for it. But it does have the radio system, which we'll go over in just a little bit. But right now, let me start off with some of the features. Up front, you know, we've got your standard short course front bumper. Uh, you know, it has some pretty good bracing to it. Uh, moving right back to the business, you know, let's talk about the shocks here. The shocks are a composite bodied shock. You know, it looks like your standard uh, plastic short course truck shock. What I do like about it though, is they do have an aluminum cap on the top right up here. And that is really important for, you know, bashing or racing. Uh, if you're gonna go with a composite body shock, you gotta have that aluminum cap just to keep everything together. So I like that it does have that. All right, now onto the suspension arms themselves. They are a really nice suspension arm. Got a lot of webbing in there. Pretty solid, more towards, you know, I would say the racer type of setup on this suspension arm. I could see some droop screws in there. The upper A arm does have an adjustable tie rod on it, so you could adjust camber. The steering links are even adjustable, so you could adjust toe. Then it goes out to a plastic caster block and a plastic steering knuckle. Probably would have liked to have seen like an aluminum steering knuckle here, but that would probably you know, bump up the price a little bit. So hopefully those hold up pretty well. And what I really like in the front of this is it does have universal drive shafts in the front. That's very cool to see on a basher or club racer style truck. The rest of it, it does have dog bones throughout. We'll get to that in a little bit, but I do like that it does have universals up front. Don't have to go buy those if you're looking to upgrade. Now in the differential department, we've got sealed differentials front, center, and rear. Now I believe they are grease filled from the factory, but they do feel pretty good. And of course they are supported by ball bearings, all metal gears in there. And another thing that's metal that I do want to point out is the suspension pivot mounts in the center. They're aluminum front and rear and actually same in the back, but they have little inserts in them. So you can go and adjust, uh, you know, anti-squat if you want to, uh, anti-dive in the front. So it is nice that this truck is adjustable. I am noticing that the front and rear shock towers are composite plastic. They look pretty thick, but they've got a lot of adjustments on there. I think they have aluminum options, so that might be a good upgrade to get. Uh, body mounts are plastic and they are adjustable. So if you do want to go and swap out the body, you can move the body mounts around on it. Uh, now let's move a little bit farther back to the steering. Dual bell crank steering, you know, as we see on many RC cars. But, uh, you know, what's really nice is they do have an aluminum adjuster nut on here for the spring. And, of course, the steering cranks are supported by ball bearings. So it's got a nice smooth operation to it. Just a little bit farther back here, I guess we'll start getting into the electronics. It does have a hex fly servo, waterproof metal output uh, shaft from what I could tell. And then the receiver fits in this nice little box over here along with the rest of your wires. Now I'm gonna move over to the speed controller. And this is a hobby wing based speed controller. Really cool looking speed controller. Uh, we've got a fan on top. 80 amp, does 2S, 3S, and it powers this brushless motor over here. 4,300 kV motor, and it's just got a really cool racing look to it. I like this truck overall, just the, the racing look of it. Uh, you know, I used to race a lot, not as much anymore, but uh, you know, if I was gonna hit the track for some club racing, this looks like a pretty good truck to go and run. So back to the features here, we've got a uh, center differential, as I mentioned before, with metal drive shafts going to the front and rear, metal out drive cups on everything. And this rear center diff mount is actually aluminum, which the motor bolts to, so that's great that it dissipates the heat and provides a strong spot for the motor to mount to. Uh, you know, really nice gears on here, a plastic spur gear, and a really good metal pinion gear on here that even has the tooth count on it. It's a 15 tooth. You don't really see often that they have the tooth count laser etched in there. Really 
nice details on this. Uh, we've got plastic supports for the front and rear, uh, just so the, uh, the chassis doesn't bend. And let's talk about the chassis now. It's got this really nice hard anodized aluminum chassis to it, even a rear skid plate on here. We've got mud guards on the side to help prevent uh, debris from getting inside. Pretty nice setup. And then over here is the battery tray. We've got three Velcro straps to secure the battery. So it looks like it's going to fit all two and three S lipos that, you know, you would normally find on the racing circuit or for just bashing and stuff. All right, now onto the rear. It's kind of, you know, the details that I talked about in the front. Uh, we've got the composite body shocks. Uh, we've got really nice suspension arms, even with droop screws. We've got those aluminum brace plates. The hubs on the outside are plastic, but they look pretty beefy. Hopefully they hold up to, you know, some cartwheels and stuff like that. Dog bones in the rear instead of universals, but we do have adjustable tie rods. And again, plenty of mounting positions if you want to go and adjust a shock angle or camber angle if you want to go and race this thing. So a lot of neat features. And then out back here, we've got this big bulky rear short course bumper. Got a lot of material back there, but this thing seems pretty solid. Again, if you're cartwheeling, this will uh, protect the vehicle a bit. Now onto the tires of this. Uh, these look kind of like a racing tire I've seen before. Maybe like a J Concept style of tire. Uh, but I don't see the, the logo on here, but I guess that's where they got the inspiration from for these tires. Uh, just kind of a medium compound on them. It kind of feels like an open cell foam, so it's not a urethane foam in there. And then the, the wheels. I do really like the wheels on here. They've got these chunky spokes, black material, and it's a standard short course style of rim. But overall, just a great looking truck that, uh, you know, it could be used for bashing or for club racing and stuff. And uh, I'm really excited to go and check it out, see what it could do. Let's go have some fun with it and see if this truck is right for you.
All right, before we get into the performance discussion, I did want to talk to you guys quickly about the stuff that comes in the kit. It does come with the RCR2E radio, uh, basic entry level radio. It has all the trim functions you need and it works really well. Um, we also have a bunch of parts trees here and they're just some shock preload clips and the inserts that you're going to need if you want to adjust the hinge pins on the uh, inner hinge pin mounts. Uh, we also have some servo horns and a box wrench. We've got the ESC instructions and then, of course, the instruction manual for the truck itself. All right. With that out of the way, now we could talk about the performance of the truck. And as you saw, I decided to take it out for some bashing. And basically, the tracks around here are, have really converted to turf tracks. So for me to go and find a dirt track, uh, I'd have to drive pretty far. Um, so I just wanted to just go out and have fun with it. Uh, this is a race bread machine. It is totally race capable, but it's also basher capable as well. And so that was kind of my thought behind it when I went out and tested it, uh, you know, in that big open field where I test a lot of the vehicles. And with that said, why don't we just start talking about the performance of it and, you know, the handling on this machine is excellent. Even out there in a basher situation, this thing stayed nice and level. It soaked up so many bumps and ruts and stuff. And, uh, you know, uh, I could just see this thing totally performing really well on track surfaces, uh, but out there in the rough stuff, it, it was it was really manageable. And that's what was really fun about it was I was able to go and do things and just expect full control of the vehicle. It's got a great suspension package on here. The handling is tuned really well right out of the box. And, you know, even in the jumping portion of it, it flies pretty level, maybe a little bit nose up. Uh, you know, I wasn't getting some long air out of it, so I didn't have any parallel parachuting problems with the body but on the short jumps that I did you know it flew nice and level which is really cool and really stable landing which is what I really enjoyed you know not having to counter steer to gather anything up you know the truck handles really really well I liked it what I also really liked was the steering on this off power the steering was very neutral on power little bit of uh, understeer, which in that loose loamy dirt was totally understandable. But the physical steering throw, uh, you know, combined with the setup and even the servo worked really well, which I was surprised. I might still go and upgrade it for, for racing if I do take this racing. Uh, but, you know, right out of the box for like a basher situation, which is what I was in, uh, I like the steering on this. Now on to the power, uh, the speed controller, motor combination, and pretty smooth for a ready to run vehicle definitely has a lot of power uh, you know it was able to really roost up a lot of dirt the acceleration is nice and straightforward doesn't get you know checked up sideways or anything like that uh, and then onto you know braking it definitely has a lot of braking it even has reverse you know again if you're you're gonna go and bash this thing it was pretty cool to just go out and back out of uh, a couple problems that I got into but overall in each of those elements you know I could feel the race capability of this truck and of course it makes a great basher vehicle because it's got racing style handling so everything worked really well on this and even durability I, I had a lot of stuff out there a lot of rocks uh, which you know I don't think this vehicle was intended for but uh, you know it did take a lot of a abuse out there nothing broken on here and uh, it just proved to be a tough truck now this is from the red cat team line and i believe the the quality of that is a bit higher and uh, you know i i know some of you are, are jumping waiting to go into the comment section and that you know what the platform is on this and, and yes Red Cat does work with suppliers, and maybe you've seen this platform before. You know, I'm not going to go and mention that. This is a Red Cat vehicle, and I like to just discuss the company that offers this truck. But it does have a great racing background to it. And it's very cool that Red Cat went out and found a high-quality vehicle to add to their lineup and put their touches on it and, and offer it. And, you know, it's got great support through their website. And I really like this truck. I think it's a great truck that doesn't get a lot of play out there, and it really needs to be seen more. So when it comes down to it, if you're looking for a high quality four-wheel drive short course off-road truck that you could go racing with or bash or maybe even turn into a cool project truck you definitely need to take a close look at the red cat racing tr se 10 e so do you want to see more of the red cat racing sc 10 e let us know in the comments section below and specifically what do you want to see do you want to see us go racing with it maybe suggest some hop-up parts we should put on here we'll definitely take a look at your suggestions and if we have enough interest we'll definitely do a follow-up video